You can do a barrel roll. I could do a barrel roll. Barrel let, let roll? Try. No, 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 don't do it. No, terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Drake was scared. She thought I was gonna do it. She thought I was gonna do it. I almost did it. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Whiskey Heat. This is World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta! Where it's always 5 o'clock. And you can tell by the time on the clock that says 5 o'clock. Yeah. Now we're drinking something weird. It is weird. You better not pull a fast one. It's, it looks gimmicky. It looks like a novelty. Yep. But I'm still interested. So we had to try. So this is a OSA Fine Spirits Whiskey Barrel Tasting Set containing three of our finest whiskeys. OSAWhiskey.com. Now, I know OSA Fine Spirits from another whiskey we've had before. I don't think we did it on this show, oh. but it's the Old St. Andrews yes. Clubhouse, and that's what OSA is. Old St. Andrews oh, Fine Spirits. the golf ball one. That's right. Seen right here. Yeah, that's the one. So, uh, we've got... What are we starting with? We're starting with the 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. Okay, which yeah. one? Yeah, so that's the Twilight. Yes. Okay, the Twilight is a 10 year old blended malt scotch whiskey, mm -hmm. fresh and delicate one. Twilight draws its delicate flavors of lemongrass and oh. apples from a minimum of 10 year maturation in American white oak casks. Mm -hmm. The delicate floral nose invites you to sip, <laughs> invites a sip to appreciate the refreshing hints of ginger, yeah. leaving a warming yet light and satisfying fresh finish. Okay. Twilight is a perfect salute to the end of the day. So, uh, end of the day, but we're starting with this one, and we'll tell you why. It's because of the description on the barrel. Yeah. Which said fresh and reach. delicate. <laughs> also threw my glasses away. Fresh and delicate. Yep, it's the fresh and delicate one. Ten year old, and then we got the uh, rich and fruity mm -hmm. blended clubhouse, and then we have the 12 year old smoky warming. So obviously smoky will go towards the end, but I would have definitely mixed those up, you know, and not tried this one first if it wasn't for the description. Well, I'll tell you something else after you drink it and tell me your thoughts. What are you getting on that nose? I do get a touch of that ginger, which is weird. Yeah, yeah I think I mixed them up. Ginger. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I smell ginger. Yeah, weird. I, I couldn't agree more. Like ginger is definitely a part of this. I don't know if you know this, but Josh and I are both big fans of gingers. Mm. True. True. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Yeah, me too. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I'm not getting ginger on. I'm not getting the ginger either. Nope. But it's very fruity and delicate. Apple pie kind of thing, you know. Damn. Young. It it smells younger than uh, ten. And it tastes a little younger too, but it is. Uh, calling it the fresh and delicate one is a perfect, oh, perfect yeah. description. Yeah. Um, I normally we wouldn't talk mm. about mm. other whiskey reviewers, mm -hmm. but we're going to for oh, one reason. Okay. I just want to let you know that according to Jim Murray, well-known ass. That's correct. Oh, yeah. that Jim Murray. <laughs> yeah. This was a superstar and got ninety-four point five out of a hundred. Oh wow! I can see that. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I gotta tell you something. I swear, this is tasty as hell. It is pretty good. <laughs> it's so, like apple crisp. Yeah, being, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. So for being like a gimmick and a, and a novelty in the barrels, mm. you, I'm I'm shocked at how much I actually like it. Man, me too. That's, now it's yummy. Ninety four point five. But we don't do scales or ratings, no, no, but no. that seems. A we little... tell you yes, no, or in between. You know, and this is a yes for me. Um, I these are. Mine. Yeah, these lovely gimmicky barrels, you can buy them. You can get them here in Fort Mac, at Fort mm -hmm. Mac Liquor. Yeah. The big ones as well. I would buy that mm -hmm. just to have here. That mm -hmm. is not the one they have in Big Barrel. Which one they have? This one, I would say. The Clubhouse. Yeah. Oh, they only okay, have the Okay, well, place? let's go to the Clubhouse. I'm going to leave a little bit in mine because I'm going to mix them all together at the end. Okay. Well, but, I will uh, not be doing that because I enjoyed that one too much. And yeah. I couldn't continue. Let's go to myself. the Clubhouse, which has like the most color, 
We were thinking this would be fake color as well, but I don't think it is because each one has a different, different color. Different color, yeah. So I will tell you, uh, the Clubhouse blended Scotch whiskey. This is the rich and fruity one. Mm. Rich for sure. An exceptional blend of rich fruit flavors balanced with an undertone of sweet spiciness that leaves a fresh mouthwatering finish. The perfect accompaniment to an evening with friends. Mm. Hi friends. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers friends. That is butter in my mouth. These buttery motherfuckers are melting your mouth. Yeah. Mm. It is buttery. Yeah. Buttery flavored. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's buttery. Uh, buttery flavored crush. It's nice. It's young. Smooth. It's very young. Um, rich. It's 10 year. Mm -hmm. It tastes mm. young, man. It tastes younger than 10. No, oh, it's not. Sorry. The Twilight was 10 oh. year. This it's, doesn't have an age statement. Oh, I This see. is super light. Do you find yeah. it light? Yeah, it's that you I just got that butter you were talking mm -hmm. about. Low ABV. And a buttery, Flake. flaky crust. Mm -hmm. So what's the, uh, I can't see that. What am I even doing? Oh, I can see that. I don't know why you bought it. 40%. Yeah, very light. It is. Buttery, though. A buttery, crispy crust. That's a perfect, mm -hmm. yeah, really yeah. buttery. Mm -hmm. A buttery flavored crust. Uh, crust. Yeah. Mm hmm Interesting. Also, I'm drinking from my uh, my good friend, uh, Big Nick. Got some glasses here. Whiskey giant. Awesome glasses, love them. Mm. Yeah, this is this is good, but I like this one way better. Yeah, me too. Okay, well guess what? So did Jim Murray, because he gave this one 89 out of 100. 89 is high. I wouldn't have given it that high of a score if I were into scoring, which I am not into scoring. It is very different from the other one. The other one was, it was better, but it was fresher, oh, cleaner. Yeah, This cleaner. has got that buttery. Buttery, uh, crispy crust. It almost feels like, almost like I could chew it a little bit. This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 What are your thoughts? Uh, well, it's buttery. Okay. <laughs> um, with each sip, I'm getting more and more butter. A buttery, crispy crust. Flaky. I like flaky all again. Yeah, so, me too. Um, like the buttered coffee. Mm. Baked on a buttery, flaky crust. Mm. I'll tell you why. Yeah. There's likely um, younger uh, corn in this. I would say. Is it blended malt or blended scotch? It's blended, it's blended scotch. scotch. Yeah. So there's a lot of corn whiskeys. In this one, mm -hmm. I would think. And that's that buttery thing. Buttery motherfuckers. Which I like. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I don't mind Me it. Me too. I don't mind but it either. This one right now is. I this agree. One go to, yeah. Yep, this one is. All right, well, shall we move on to the age 12 years fireside? Oh, even going back. Mm. That was still better. <laughs> oh, my point. goodness. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, everyone. Sorry <laughs> I didn't see that side of me. I thought I was thinking that. <laughs> This is the uh, the 12 year old blended malt scotch whiskey. Okay. The slightly smoky warming one. Okay. <sighs> Smells a little touch ashy, but not so much. Fireside has light peat smoky flavors as a result of the ancient process of drying our malted barley in kilns using peat as fuel with the additional hints of grass and moss resulting from the reaction of the spirit <laughs> for over 12 years in oak casks. Mm. The result is a powerfully heartwarming feeling and a complex dry finish, the ideal complement to a relaxed fireside conversation with a friend. I like the milk. Everything's with friends because oh. whiskey is for sharing. Whiskey is for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. What do you think of that one? Nose? I love it. Yeah, uh, I don't really like it. I'm gonna taste it and see what I think. Me too. I like the smell. It's got like a chimney. Hmm. It's like a burnt pineapple. Yeah. Barely peated. They say lightly peated. I don't uh, even really get peat on get that. Peat. No, I don't. Yeah. yeah, a touch of smoke, but no yeah. peat. No peat. Huh. Smoke, just a touch. A, a sweet. I like it a lot. I think it's my least favorite. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is my least favorite. The middle. Clubhouse? The middle one. Yeah. Okay. I gotta taste these side by side real quick. They're very different. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm, that's nice. I gotta give it this one. Uh, this reminds me of Black Barrel. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Black, Black Barrel bottle. or Black Bottle? Black bottle. 
Uh, I was looking at the barrels. Black barrel! <laughs> uh, beige tablecloth. This is good. I like I like all three. Uh, I'm finding it really hard to pick between the first two, but I'd have to give it to this one. Just a little bit of an edge. Okay. This one I don't care for at all. We want to know what Jim Murray says? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says for this one, 93 out of 100. Oh, it's brilliant. Wow. wow. Slight edge. All these, by the way, old. are from 2019. 2019, okay, okay. Um, what What are your thoughts? What order would you give these if you had to pick? So I would definitely go with the first one. That's, yeah, me that's too. my first one. Yeah. Then I'd go with this one. Number two. Number two. Uh, mm -hmm. That one I'm gonna leave part. You wouldn't reach for that? I wouldn't Interesting. reach for it. Okay. I don't know, is it because I like this one so much and then I yeah. have this one? I don't know, but I'm gonna leave that one part. Okay, and time? Oh, it's the first one, the Twilight for me. That was very the best. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. That I will gladly purchase a full barrel or bottle or I whatever. Not, I won't be buying it. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I would purchase more for me one. and Trish then. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. The buttery one, the 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 clubhouse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be my second. It's doable. I, I do like it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, that is the one that we can currently buy in the full size. Maybe we will. Uh, and then the yeah the last one the uh, the fireside. Okay. I think I just wanted more peat out of it. And yeah, it set you up for something. Didn't yeah. quite deliver. Yeah. So uh, folks, you know if you if you've been watching the show for a while, you know my palate by now. You know Ty's palate by now. Trish is new coming into our episodes. Eventually, you're going to start to uh, associate yourself with her palate, perhaps. But whichever one of us you align with. That's the opinion you can take for this, <laughs> right? For me, third one's my favorite, and that was the least favorite for everybody else. Yeah. 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 Well. All right. Well, that's I'm gonna mix them together there. while we're. Uh, that's just foolish. I can do these two, but I love that we're, twilight uh, so much that it's just not. Well, gonna I'm be gonna possible. give this a chance, and I'm gonna put it into the oh, cheers, buttery man. one. I'll cheers. do the two. We'll see what happens. Mm. Well, cheers. Cheers, cheers to uh, old Saint Andrew. Oh. And I, you know what? I guess a little, little cheers to Jim Murray. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ruined it. Well, you know what? You learn uh, sometimes, and sometimes you do not. But that was not fucking good. Well, I'm not gonna buy all three just to get the Twilight gross, but I will, buy, I will buy the Twilight on its own, and I would buy that one. Well, there you go. Bye, everybody. See ya.